because I could be your friend or we could be an enemy, whatever that may be. You know what I'm saying? I could be your friend or we could be an enemy, whatever that may be. You know what I'm saying? What do you do with that, y'all? This girl such a craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, baby, Miss Fallon have been making her rounds around town. Now, what I mean by that, it's a clip that's been going around where she had said something to the effect of it wouldn't be safe if her and Portia was in the same room, okay? Because it's up and it's stuck. Let me ask you this. If you if you ever ran into Portia, what would you talk to her about? That wouldn't be a safe scenario. Oh, oh. Why? It's smoke. For her or? It's smoke. That. I mean, at the end of the day, she knows what she did. It, it, it could play out in the media. However, everybody wants to try to play it out. I know what she did. Simon knows what she did. Portia knows what she did. That wouldn't be a safe scenario. So I wouldn't even put myself in a predicament of even allowing that. I, you know, I'm a grown woman now. I would have talked to her. Talk to her. Ain't going to be no talking. Now you see where we going with this. She talking about it ain't even gonna be no talking. It's basically I'm gonna put my paws on you, and you gonna feel how I felt back then when you tried to. Well, no, you didn't try. You did. But anyways, moving right along, it was more to the answer. So I'm gonna let y'all check that out. Here you go. Now, did her ex husband know about that? Yeah, Dennis told her. That's yeah, Dennis daddy. is the one who told me. He was like, he came to me. He apologized. Um, we met up at crew one night and he was like, you know, he, he wanted to talk to me about business or whatever, but mm -hmm. I guess it was bothering him and he apologized for everything. He was like, Fallon, I thought you knew the mm. whole time that they were around. He's at all of Atlanta knew. He was like, how'd you miss that? I said, I wasn't allowed out like that. So mm -hmm. why would I, which makes sense now. Um, but yeah, mm. so he was like, I'm so sorry. He was like, I, I, now it makes me look at my baby mama a certain way because she told me the whole time that you knew about everything you were cool with her sleeping with simon so you mean to tell me allegedly portia was out here with your man while y'all was together but not together and dennis is the one who told you this speaking of mr skittles aka hot dog man aka dennis mckinley um y'all two been seen out Doing a meet and greet, I guess for his um cognac he got out. Y'all check this out. It's very smooth. <laughs> What's up, Nice to meet you. You want to try a free sample? Come on, come on down. Hmm. Ooh, child. Now, what would really be messed up is if them two get together, okay? If they be more than friends, can we be lovers and friends? A child, that would be some messy-ish. But one of the interviewers on the Baller Alert when they was doing this interview with Fallon, let's just say they brought that up, and this is what Fallon had to say about that. You ever thought about dating him? <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> like, sw yeah. like swap it out? <laughs> I don't think Dennis can keep up with me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be honest with you. You know, I think I'm a little out of his bracket, but he's awesome. He's really cool. Damn. Dennis can't get no play yet, yet? <laughs> she said, uh, no, sweetie. He is definitely not in my tax bracket. He can't keep up with what I need and want. And I'm like, damn, the hot dog man stand ain't making no bread. Crew lounge ain't making no brisket. But that ain't none of my business. Everybody got their preference on who they want to date and who they don't want to date. And if you don't meet the criteria, you don't have to date them. But within this interview, she also talks about the dynamic she had with Simon. How, you know, she couldn't have no friends. It was just all about him and her and um, the mental stress she was under. 
everybody kind of made me out to be something that I wasn't without understanding what was going on behind closed doors for five years. Mm. The person that who that y'all see is my ex-husband. That's new to y'all. Mm. I knew exactly who it was that I married, but you know, I was young. I was 26 when we got together. He was 50. Um, so I thought that, well, no, he's he loves me and he'll just, you know, he'll change mm. and he just has to grow and I have to prove myself and all that dumb. Did you know about all like the immigration problems that he was having? Mm hmm. Yeah. Did he like I tell you that? But I don't have to, you know, exploit people's name or any, their business for a check. Yeah. But did he tell you that up front or is, is that something that you investigated yourself? No, that was uh, the, he was up front about a lot of things. However, there's a lot of stuff that he left out, too. I've never even known that he's been in jail before. Mm. Mm. You know, so I really in a sense when everything came into the media i was really shocked yeah i was gonna say you, you, you probably really found know. some stuff out too yeah and y'all have to understand he was doing all this before i was born <laughs> wait did you not google him though like i yeah, feel like but there's it... only but so much you can see on google yeah that is true and the things, i would hope the police that report on come on aren't even true leave sit when did the allowance stop like after the three weeks or well, the allowance stopped soon after, yeah, probably after the three weeks around that time. But I, we had a prenup, and we were married for a lot longer than 15 minutes, so I got a lot more. Yeah. As well as she's coming out with a dating show called Falling for Fallon, I think. And she's talking about some, she's not opposed to dating women because the men right now ain't shit. I was like, well, I be damned. Okay. I'll be damned. You know, the men have just been messing up. Y'all have really done yourselves a good one. I <laughs> I don't know if I want to go back. I might. I so might what you are you you're exploring now? Yeah, I mean, I've always you know. You've dabbled. always appreciated the beauty Women. of a woman. Yeah. Okay. But just not relationship wise. So okay. I don't know. So you're open to exploring a possibility of a relationship with a woman. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If she's bad. No, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> then she went over the whole breakdown of, you know, how Jalen got in the picture. And she did once again say that Dennis told her that Portia and uh, Simon was already, you know, together, together. She was just late to the party. I had GPS trackers on my cars and everything. Damn, that's, mm -hmm. how, that's how he called Jalen, right? Mm -hmm. oh. No, that's how he called another boy. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. I know that's right, but I wasn't hiding it, so I was kind of yeah. I know about that situation. Yeah, I, I so know, I know you wouldn't hide. I know you wouldn't hide him. But that was the time. Yeah, that was around <laughs> that time. No, there was no. Y'all have to understand. So when Jalen and I got together, it was during a very vulnerable moment for me. So there was so much going on behind closed doors that y'all still don't, you know, the public doesn't really know about, and the time frame that everything took place. So. By the time Jalen and I even decided that we're going to become more than just friends, he was already with several other people, and, mm. so, and but we were still legally Simon married. Simon was with some, several other people. Right, but oh. we were verbally separated. Mm. So, I mean, okay. it just, you know, whatever happened, happened. And, um, and Would you get back with Simon now? <laughs> no. Nah. To see, it's crazy because I didn't always feel that way. However... To see everything that he's doing yet again, me and y'all have to understand me watching everything. It's re-traumatizing for me because I'm the one who went through it first as mm. bad as it did publicly. You did know? you Were you the first or was it before? publicly? Yeah, because okay. I don't want nobody when he was, you know, getting divorces. And who's to say what he did to them? I think I was only maybe five when he got divorced. So. Mm. This man but he had 30 years on me. Of course he knew what he was doing. Mm. So we're going to end the video with Fallon giving advice to anybody that's messing with Mr. Simon. And he might want to put a ring on it. Just know this right here. Go ahead and tell him, Fallon girl. Any advice to any future Miss Gobadias? I mean, he's going to be different for every new supply. Mm -hmm. hmm. So. That girl said new supply. Damn. There's no advice. Watch out. Don't fall in love. <laughs>
<laughs> don't do fall in love. So listen, I got a question. I'm pretty sure there's more to come, though. I mean, he's he's on a mission to get that citizenship. Yeah, I mean, good luck to ooh, him. Ooh, I told y'all he was doing so, that's that's ooh. out of that's out of my jurisdiction of even <laughs> being able to comprehend everything he's going through because I wasn't even born yet. So when he was going through all this, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm American, so I, I mean, like you said, you know him, though. You know, you like you said, you know that man. You know more than glock, Portia do him at the time. So that's why I was saying, like any signs that other women could look for, you know, look out for when they get into situations with that guy. Honestly, I don't feel like these women even care right. these mm. days. I think they see a check and they see, I mean, I think they look at it for what it is, but I think they just see a check and they go for the money. Mm -hmm. I don't even think they care to fall for him, mm -hmm. which isn't hard not to.